very welcome back. Now, few performers generate the adoration and loyalty from their fans as our next guests. Why? Well, because Jack L's live shows are the stuff of legend. And, of course, he's no stranger to our LAM viewers. Jack, you're very welcome. Thanks for coming welcome back in. Welcome back, Jack. Good to see you. You've been spending some time out in the U.S. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, yeah, well, this whole album that I've done, Burn On, started out in the U.S. Um, I was invited over to do some shows. Um, specifically to celebrate the songs of Randy Newman and ended up learning, good Lord, I'd say about 50 of them, if not more. And coming out of that, I mean, it seemed a shame not to actually document them and put them down because sometimes when you do stuff, you walk away from it. Yeah. It's hard to get back to it. So uh, that's where the album Burn On came out of. So we uh, was having the albums produced from Martin Clancy. We got together and just uh, Sweet. Uh, put it down. So, yeah, so that was that was a... <clears throat> all happened in New York, so... Um, and Randy Newman really likes what you've done. Well, I've been in contact with his management, yeah. and uh, they they really love it, so um, I'm heading out to the States again now in the summer, and he'll be... Uh, hopefully hopefully I'll get to meet him. That's the, wow. the plan, anyway. And, and were you a huge fan, first and foremost? Mm. Uh, you know, how did the link come about? Well, uh, year, I mean, years ago... Um, I came upon his songs via other people more so, uh, songs, the ones like uh, I'm going to play a few Baltimore. Uh, Nina Simone did a wonderful version yeah. of that. That's right, yeah. yeah really a good, good reggae version of it. Uh, in Germany before the war was a song that it was always... And then, you know, you, you would know his songs from... You can leave your hat on and stuff. Yeah, yeah it's, of course, it's, yeah. Uh, Mama told me that. Come, his songs are... Know, it's it's hard to yeah. avoid him. He's one mm -hmm. of those guys that, uh, via osmosis, you almost you know his songs. Um, so uh, yeah, I would have I would have been a fan. I mean, any any songwriters like that. I mean, he's kind of left the field of his own stuff anyway. I mean, he does a lot of the the stuff with Toy Story and all the. It's yeah. obviously the other end of the spectrum. But he, he's a he's a very witty and he's a great wordsmith. And um, he's managed he to walk that kind of tightrope of you know getting artistic acclaim mm. and especially for musicians, but also doing a lot of commercial stuff at the same time. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. But he comes from a long line of. Um, I think it was his, was it his uncle who. Uh, you know the MGM line roar yes, and the music yeah. and all. I think uh, I think he he wrote that. So he comes from a long line of composers and stuff like that. So um, he crafts <coughs> his songs really mm. well, I suppose. I mean, we were just talking about Little Criminals, classic album from seventy seven, nineteen seventy seven. I suppose <laughs> that is. <laughs> but when when you're given this canon of songs to pick your favourite, how do you decide how you're going to treat them, or how how, how do you look on the, the list and go right? I love that song, going to do it. But do I put the Jack L spin on it? Do mm. I put my interpretation, or do I just stick faithfully to the old? Original range. You always put the Jack L spin on things. Well, I mean, I, I sing the way I sing, I suppose. So some songs suit me and some songs don't. I mean, I tried, say, one like Mama Told Me Not to Come, but it just yeah. didn't... I didn't see, think I could bring anything new to it, so I didn't do it. Um, but other other songs, um, when you... It's basically you sit down and you play them, and if they sound good, if they feel good, mm. it's, it's an instinctual kind of thing as much as anything else. So um, that's kind of how I ended up choosing which ones. And Jack, you're back in the Olympia. Second and third of April, yeah, after April Fool's Day. After April, and I was wondering, me and Mark were talking about this the other day. We had another musician on last week, and we were just saying it's so nice to hear a bit of music, and we use the dreaded R word, recession times. And Mark was saying apparently figures for live shows, for music shows particularly, mm. go up in recession times yeah, because think, we need music. Well, I mean, the whole lift point yeah. of the, the, the Olympic gig for me will be lift people up out of yeah. the doom and gloom. You know, it's uh, and that's what music's about. That's what music's always been for me. It's always been the. Uh, the thing that um, you know, it's it, it uh, it's a great escapism. It, it lifts you up. So, yeah, it's um, I'm looking forward to going back to the Olympia. It's been a while since I played there, and it's such a beautiful building mm. and all that red and gold and and, uh, and the view from the stage when you're standing on the stage looking out. I mean, that's the view. I mean, uh, it's, it's obviously a great place to go see stuff. But I always love just standing on the stage and looking at the people. Um, I got some great shots in a DVD. I did Memento, and a lot of the shots are from behind looking out. Yeah. And uh, the actual the poster I have for the gigs is one of those. So uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's always a privilege to play there, you know. It's great, because it's, it's a great old venue. The pull now of America, mm -hmm. how strong is that? Because, you know, you've been there for some time, you've yeah. been working there, a lot of people love it. When do you go back? Or what, what well, the summer is the time. To, is, uh, I'm, I'm, I have a few things lined up over there, um, a few gigs, and uh, just working on that at the moment. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the States has always been pretty good to me, So uh, and I've toured it extensively yeah, over yeah. the years, uh, east, west coast, middle of it, up and down, you name it. <laughs> I've, I've, seen, I've seen most of it at this stage. But is it tough? Um, well, no. 
No, go I mean, me. compared to... <clears throat> I used to be a mechanic. It's not, yeah, it's not okay. tough compared to that, you know? <laughs> That's real work. This yeah, is, yeah. you know... It, I, I suppose there's a lot of, you know, traveling. The traveling is probably the toughest thing. The gigging and getting up and singing is the most enjoyable part of it. Um, and it's all worth it for, for the, those moments. But... Um, yeah, the traveling loses its appeal after, after a while, months, but, yeah. you know, good book. Now you've got iPods. You have all these things that can, you know, you just... Get your, get your time disappears. Don't think about it, you know, that's what I try to do. Just forget about it. Well, you are going to do Randy Newman number four this yeah. morning. What are you going to sing, Christopher? Well, I'm going to do this one. This is Baltimore. This is the one I was saying Nina Simone did a great version of, and uh, it's, one, it's one of my favourite songs of his, so... Takes away. I'll give it a blast. Beat up, little seagull. On a marble stairs Trying to find the ocean Looking everywhere Hard times in the city In a hard sound by the sea April in the Olympia. Should they be sold out? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> all going well. All going well. I will be, because <laughs> no, you are, it, yeah. people do adore you and travel all around the country well, and I've, the I've world good, to see you. I have a good fan base, yes. Yeah, so, yeah. Actually, would you do me a huge favour and say hello to Lizzie, who is one of my friends, who is one of your biggest, biggest fans. Hello, That's Lizzie. That's abuse of power, total <laughs> abuse of power. But I had to do it, now I hope to God she was watching. Yeah, right. So 2nd and 3rd of April in the Olympia, have a brilliant gig, I'm sure you will, and I'm sure people will be there having a great time as Looking well. Looking forward to it, yeah. And the album's available for download from your website as well, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah. Okay, well, excellent Thanks. stuff.